Hello everyone and welcome to episode 25 of our Stalker Gamma Invictus run. We are up to 25 episodes. Yeah, it's, it's been a long run and uh, we're just a little bit... Uh, there's just a little bit left of the game until we're done. Hopefully we don't, uh, we don't fumble it right here at the end. So, last time we... Uh, did the second part of the sin mission basically hospital generators and um, the nuclear power plant and we got back home to rostock uh completed the sin mission we have the achievement as well um and uh, we also slept overnight and we got the message for the new mission chain the last one which is encrypted transmission uh, where we will have to go to the Iron Forest Anomaly and um, see who is uh, making encrypted transmissions over there. Uh, we already know it's the, the Secret Military Service, which uh, we will continue to uh, play with or whatever to help uh, all the way to the end against uh, UNISG and we will also have a little run-in with uh, Strelok. Um, since last time I uh, fixed the freedom armor and uh, will try and sneak into Yanov station this time maybe it'll work out so we don't waste ammo on any more uh, freedomers and if not we'll just murder them all because the um, uh, Ukrainian secret service whatever the military secret service guy will be in Yanov station so uh, we will have to make our way down there uh, crafted a few more bullets for the RD 9x39. From now on, we will need a lot of AP ammo because we will be fighting UNISG. And crafted some more Lapua rounds for the Deer Hunter. Other than that, it's pretty much the same. Nothing changed. We have the best gear available, available to us right now. We have... Mm, I should have probably crafted meds before I came here, but I think we'll do all right. Uh, either way. So, without further ado, let's uh, make our path to the Iron Forest Anomaly. Okay, so, first things first, I will... Uh, actually, I'll stick to... Oops, sorry about that. Uh, I'll stick to uh, standard ammo for now, because we may face some mutants. And uh, let's see, which way should we go... I could probably just uh, cut a straight line all the way there. So, let's not uh, waste any more time. Let's just go to where the arrow is pointing. Oh, there's a lot of them. Or it may be just one. Oh no, there there were normal dogs mixed in there as well. Okay, that should be good. Even better. Let's see, do we have friendlies here or have they finally fallen to uh, Monolith or Sin? No, oh, it seems they're still friendly. I'm not gonna bother them. remember which side was easier to pass. I am getting a little bit of lag. Uh, not sure why. Ok, 
Okay, you're gonna be a bit careful here. There are sometimes mutants by the gas station. Also, I'm not sure where my guys are, but now nah, whatever. Okay, what is that? Just a dog. Okay, there's no need for us to engage that. Where are my guys, though? Oh, they're going the long way around. Okay, gonna switch to AP because there will definitely be some stalkers around here. Um... I don't remember what. Uh, was it the first time we're supposed to meet you and ISG? Oh, it's Sin, actually, and they're fighting something. They're fighting Poltergeist. Uh, there's still one there. Okay. Let's do a little bit of... Okay, let's see where this thing is. Okay, I didn't like the sound of the ghost things either. We have like a controller around here as well. Okay, again, we're just taking what we need, just like last time. I mean, just like the whole pin quest line. <laughs> uh, don't need the mine, for example. Right, so uh, if I remember right, the, um, uh, the place to check the transmission was right near the helicopter. So we just have to sit around a little bit. And we have it. Uh, that oh! Crazy, crazy hip. Right, so there's the military guys. Let's uh, go say hi. Um, I don't think there were any um, encounters here. Not until we get to the factory, if I remember right. But uh, we'll still be careful. It's so funny. The, these guys are so undercover, I can't even see their tags uh, from afar. Right. Alright, so this is the guy who will give, be giving us all our uh, missions from now on. Handsome dude, huh? Ugh. <laughs> right, so, um, yeah, we'll tell him we'll help him out. And uh, we have officially started Operation Afterglow. So oh, let's go to the ranger station. And uh, once I get close enough to it, I will actually pop, um, pop a morphine. Because uh, 
I I don't wanna um, I don't wanna risk dying so close to the end. My biggest issue right now is that I, I didn't plan ahead too much. I, I should have thought when I when I um, started moving from Rostock, I should have considered um, crafting some more things, but that would have involved taking a few more hours to, to just um, run around doing missions in the, in the southern areas uh, to make money. Because I could have crafted some more meds, I could have crafted some more grenades, but um, I, I would have needed uh, some, some extra cash. Right, I'm going to try and avoid, avoid those uh, pseudo-giant jumpers. But yeah, coming back to what I was saying, uh, I'm, I basically... Okay. Oh no, not my stamina. <laughs> Sorry, that, that didn't sound voice acted that well. Oh no, my stamina! Ah, yeah, it, the thing doesn't doesn't ever end now. So I don't really care for for Bureau attacks. Right. So let's do some morphine. Let's uh, grab a bite to eat. I'll actually take one of the Chimera meats. All right. Set our guys to fire at will. Tell Will to try to dodge. Yes, I know, it's it's an overused joke, but sometimes it's still good. Okay. There's one. Big boy with an exosuit. We did not get him. Oh, there he is. I can't really go around throwing any more grenades. Or can I? Holy crap! Cover. Okay, we're good. These are mine. Oh god, I hate... This is the part I hate from this mission. The fact that I can't tell who's who. Oh! That's definitely not a friendly. Right. Hey, we can tell our guys to uh, wait here a bit while we loot. If we find anything good. one here don't care about that okay was there anyone else I think that was all of them oh there is one that I didn't loot one second he's outside here somewhere It's just an MP5. Okay, we can have a little drink of water. And... Um, um, yeah, we're gonna start the next mission. How many grenades do we have? Just... 
quickly before I before I start. Um, mm, okay. Yeah, I, I probably will have to go back to Rostock in the middle of these missions. I'm I'm definitely got gonna need to restock. Right. Um so oh, he's telling us that there's actually a squad of enemies moving in. And uh, what we're gonna do is uh we'll wait for them right here. Okay. Hopefully we caught their patrols early enough. We did get a few of them. But the spot I'm in right now is probably not the best one. Okay, there's one more, um, and I think it's another guy who's uh, not quite dead yet. Oh, there he is. Right. Perfectly thrown grenade, I, if I may, may say so myself. Oh, who's this? I mean, I'll take your bullets, no problem. Okay, let's do a little loot run, as always. Oh, we're gonna have to take the uh, leader's PDA anyway. Uh, for the mission to continue. So, oh yeah, this grenade was perfectly placed. It's almost as if I knew they were coming this way. <laughs> okay. Not really amazed by the loot they offer. Okay, that's that's an interesting Ash 12 you have there, sir. Um, is this one of those uh, you see Ivan guns? I I have it. So you see, Ivan, when weapons split in two and made like this, it's easier to reload because you don't actually have to pull... <laughs> oh, I can't do it. You don't actually have to pull the mag out. Oh, God. That, that was so bad. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, let's talk to this guy. What are you Right, we found the PDA. Uh, yes, we're we're amazed that he's telling us things that we shouldn't know. Okay, I don't remember what the next mission is, but I think oh, we have to report back to Rostock. Perfect. Um, perfect because we can go back and restock on everything. So yeah, I'll just uh, take a quick round run back there and um, I'll see you at base. Alright, so we got back to Corden. I took a little bit of time to um, sort through some stuff. Uh, I... 
Managed to make a few more grenades, only six of them this time, and I did uh, also make a little bit of um, a few stim packs basically for medicine and upgraded uh, the base uh, med kits to army and scientific. So I think this should be enough for us to, to finish the game with. And we will go to um, the general and tell him all about what happened. Now, there is a choice here between maintaining secrecy and not. I'm not sure if it makes any difference. I usually don't tell him anything. So, let's tell him we're back from Zaton. And um, nothing in particular. So, we didn't find anything. It was just noise. Right. So, for now, that was it. Um, just looking at these guys to see if there's anyone uh, higher than professional. But, I mean, it doesn't really happen almost any time. Right, and uh, we're gonna actually have to wait a couple of days until we get... Um, another uh, another little um, radio from uh, the the whatever the guy we met with in the Satan so let's um, just um, take a nap we're gonna use a lot of sleeping pills basically for nothing playing these missions. And a lot of food. But let me just get the, the cheaper ones. And just the standard MRE. The fun thing is, I could just uh, skip this in the video, but uh, you see, I want to show you all of the steps to doing the mission. <laughs> uh, and yes, that was an evil laugh. If I'm going through this, then hell, you have to go through it too. Or you could just skip a few minutes in the video, but I mean, come on. I trust you, you wouldn't skip through the video now, would you? Let's grab another nap. Don't wake up early, don't wake up. Oh, he woke up early. After 22 hours. If, if only I could have such a nap in real life as well. You know, just like a bear, go hibernate for 22 hours. Can someone shoot those crows, please? They wake me up every morning. Okay. And once again. Yes, sure, go. Twenty three hours. Also, duty guys were killed by a snork. <laughs> Is 
they have two heavy machine guns in play heavy machine gun emplacements like right there how does a snork even get past those clear sky be like we ran into a flesh we're all gonna die I wonder what they're fighting over there. Guess we'll never know. Going on day three. Alright, so after uh, running through the zone a little bit more uh, and spending a few more days sleeping, I um, decided to come back to the north, see if that made the mission trigger, and apparently, here we are. I just got the message. Um, so I'm gonna try and hide myself. How about I come to Yanov Station? Sure, that's that's not gonna be difficult at all. Right, let's uh, swap out the armor. God damn it! Okay, my guys also have to not see me. I think. Hide behind the tree. Yes. I am so sneaky. Right. No oh god, normal armor. So heavy. Right, so we're gonna take a little run as close as we can, and uh, then we're just gonna have to do the normal walk once we get close to the freedom guys, because we don't want them to know I'm duty. Also, I have a lot of Epri, so might as well do it for the stamina. Oh, this is one of the guys we killed um, before. Oh, they know who I am. Yeah, should have thought this would happen. Okay. Oh, I hear more of them moving around here. Anyone else? Yeah, I thought so. Okay, that actually hurt a little bit. Shotgun with slags. Go figure. A uh, slugs. Flags. Oh god. Okay, let's see what these Freedom Boys had on. Weed, what else? I mean, it's not bad stuff. Gold. 
fish. Okay, some meds, some um, ammo. A lot of grenades, which is nice. Unfortunately, we also took some damage to our armor. Uh, I'm gonna just disassemble this. We're definitely not gonna use it anymore. Um, I'll just murder them every time I come by. Okay, so now we can talk to this off? guy in peace. Okay, so we ask him about uh, everything that's happening, and he says he needs some assistance with something. A team of thugs, he says. So, uh, we all know who those thugs are. It's, uh, of course, UNISG. Which is a little bit scary. Oh! Where'd you come from? And why didn't you come in after me? That's annoying. Okay, let's go deal with the... Um, with the UNISG guys. You're gonna be right over there at the factory. Uh, we're gonna have to... Take some info from... Uh, from some guy, but... Um, if I remember correctly, there will definitely be a UNISG squad on the way. Oh, there they are. And they all see me. Fight! That's Fyodor, and that's not Fyodor. Okay, I think that was it. I, I think I hurried a bit too much and I got here before they did. Uh, usually, I would take it slower, and by the time I climb, climb these stairs, they would be somewhere around there. But luckily, uh, no one died, so... Um, it's it's alright. Oh, look, a saw. Completely useless. If I'm going to use a, a high rate of fire heavy machine gun, I I won't use anything but the best. I demand a minigun. We got power armors. We can we can power them. <laughs> We need. We don't need to worry about them being overpowered. Like throwing money out the window. <laughs> right. Uh, so we uh, have the package. He's gonna give us uh, something else, I think. And he's gone. Ah, like Batman. I mentioned before that I really hate these uh, transitions when NPCs despawn. Actually, earlier in the run it happened um, in, in one of the other episodes that uh, a pseudo dog managed to kill one of the ecologist guys I was uh, escorting. And because the ecologist died, the mission ended. Gave me a black screen, and I almost got murdered by pseudo dogs. 
which is not a fun position to be in. Чего тебе? Okay, about the delivery. Uh, I gave the package. And uh, there we go. Right, so he gave us another mission to deal with some uh, UNISG guys, uh, which are down here. Um, they say they're gonna shoot me on sight if I'm not going in alone, but from my experience, I never got shot with, uh, even when going with companions, so... Ah, who knows, I may just leave the companions behind for just a minute. Gonna check this stash just because it's green, and I'm gonna take absolutely nothing out of it. <laughs> Except the drugs. Okay, so, we still have a good number of grenades. We have more ammo than we know what to do with. We should no longer have any problems. Unless Unisix spawns with Gauss and uh, Gausses and rocket launchers. Because they do do that sometimes. Okay, so the guy up here is probably the guy I have to talk to. Um, and I was attacked by a pack of blind dogs is the thing, the code you have to say. So there we go. Mission done. Going back. This, this mission, mission chain does have a lot of running around, just uh, talking to people. It's pretty funny. I, I, I do remember you have to run to Strelok like three or four times. <laughs> Being the middleman. Uh, which is, uh, don't get me wrong, much better than having to deal with uh, all the sin in the universe and generators. Or Limansk. Or Red Forest. I mean, at least you can see Unisig because they have bright green on their on their um, armors. No. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. About your friend. Um. I'm gonna give him the info and. Uh, we have a new mission to go all the way to... Right, to the big uh, factory spot. I always forget what it's called. The old Jupiter factory. So, um, yeah, there's going to be some UNISG around there. But uh, it shouldn't be too hard to deal with. To the south, actually. Oh, and the colonel's actually coming with us, so that means we gotta ha leave our companions uh, behind on wait again, just because we don't want the colonel to uh, die. Which is a thing that can happen. Gonna switch back to normal ammo for now until we reach the factory, because we may still need some mutants along the way. And I don't really want to waste AP on them. Plus, there will be a lot of Unisig to kill in the coming uh, missions, so we do need all the AP we can, uh, we can get. Uh, I think I could do a Morphine right now as well. We have a lot of it. Just to be nice and covered, and um, we can do some board shots. Keeping the good food for the last missions. Okay, uh, there are sometimes mercenaries around here, or mutants, so let's do a little uh, check. Make sure nothing kills our companions while we're busy murdering Unisig. This was the entrance, right? Yep. 
Right, so, last time we were here, we nearly got murdered by a chimera. And now it's also raining, so I won't be able to hear it coming. Let's, let's stick to normal. Ow! Yeah, I'll stick to normal bullets for now. Actually, it wasn't the Chimera that was problematic last time I was here, it was the fucking dogs. go that way. Uh, it's basically a dead end, even though we can fight some, we could pick off some of the Unisig there, but we'll warn the whole base and I don't really want that yet. Gonna switch here to AP and I'm gonna tell my guys to wait right here. Okay, and this is the door. Gonna do a little uh, check before we move in, there's definitely gonna be someone here. Come on. Okay, this is uh, weird and scary. Why is it quiet here? There should be units expanded. Let's get our guys to follow us. Are they all in, in, in the next room, maybe? They, they didn't move all the way here. That would be interesting. As a friendly. Uh, and by interesting I mean scary as fuck. Oh yeah. Okay, yeah, that's, that's not a thing I wanted to see. Alright, my guys can wait there. And I want to get right here where I can wait for them behind the wall. Yeah. Oh! Okay! No! Uh, funny story, I can just throw them from here. How am I going to go around that anomaly? Okay, we got it. Safety grenade. Oh, they heard me. Here, have another. Okay. One more grenade because I need to heal. Okay. Okay. I can just pull back here. We're good. Here, I can make a big splash too. How many of them are there? 
Holy crap, I don't know what that guy has in his hand, but damn it hurts. I didn't get him. Okay, yeah, that was close. <sighs> There's another one over there. I think that was a jam. I should find a place to maintain the weapon. Okay, we got him. And call my guys in. <clears throat> Do a little bit of looting. There's always some nice stuff uh, around here. And uh, we can actually just fix ourselves with ibuprofen and some vinca. rounds that's that's really good okay mm, not not going there got it and as for my rifle oh, boy this is damaged um no oh, just fully fixed it whatever Does one of these guys, by chance, have a, a rifle maintenance kit? I would really like one. Чего тебе? Oh, shut up. <coughs> um, I'll take this. I might fix it and give it to um. To our uh, loner friend there. He's still running with the Monolith 2.0. Okay, and I'm guessing our armor is a bit damaged too. We can just use some of this good enough. Alright, where's the guy? Okay, so now I'm gonna have to find some documents around here, which I always forget where they are. Um, I think Wait, they were it. up here, if I'm not mistaken. There we go. There's also a different set of documents here, I think, if you play as a different faction or for a faction mission, and no. maybe uh, yes, we'll that's see. what I got confused. Right, so um, he just Batman the hell out of here. I actually don't remember if this led anywhere. Okay, um, I don't think we can get out through here, can we? Oh, we can get out, we just can't get in this way. Huh. Learn new things every day. I'll just have some water to, to ease the hunger. Right, so what's our next mission? It's, um, nothing. 
but from what I remember, it will be um, in uh, in outskirts. So we're gonna take a little trip all the way there. I'm going to go through the underground. I don't really want to cross Pripyat. Because that place is definitely not fun. So, rather go through the underground. Uh, we'll be facing a, a few mutants on the way there, so... Unless our clear sky friends uh, dealt with them again. <laughs> Oh yeah, and of course there will be some uh, soldiers around that area. Uh, how how bad is our gun? You know what? I'll actually take a little trip back to um, ecologist there. That's interesting. I'll actually take another trip to Yanov Station first. I, I really need to fix my gun, and uh, there are mechanics there. If I remember right, I even gave them some uh, web, some uh, repair kits. So I should be able to buy an advanced weapon maintenance kit from them. Because uh, I'm afraid if... Um, any part on my weapon goes below 60% right now, I would have to go back to Rostock to fix it. Because that's where I have all my tools and all I'd have to work with to get back to Rostock is um, a deer hunter with 49 rounds and uh, an MP7 with... Uh, I don't even know how many these are, but 144 is... Not really enough. I thought I heard a dog. Oh, we'll just get back here and um, hey. might actually have to sell some stuff. Oh, never mind. What? I'll buy two of them and uh, just keep them here in case. Don't need these. Right. Everything is damaged on it. All right. Um. Do you maybe have part? <laughs> do you maybe have parts for me to fix this? No, he doesn't. And it would need an advanced weapon kit, so... Uh, to be able to, re to completely replace the parts. Actually... Oh, that was a Chimera outside. Let's um, go deal with it before it murders any of my guys. Where is it? Chimera or Pseudo Giant? Or Lurker? Quiet now, which is not really a good sign. Yeah, we we heard you. Hello, buddy. Um. I think it had brain damage.
Okay, so we fixed everything and uh, I think we're good to go all the way to outskirts. The way this is going, we might actually finish in the next couple of episodes, tops, maybe even sooner. <laughs> How are you guys surviving here? Clear sky, crazy guys. There's also an ecologist up there, but that doesn't mean we won't meet the uh, other enemies. Right? Oh, okay. It's it's just them, which is good. So we can switch back to nine by thirty-nine. Um. I am going to launch on some pseudo dog chops. I don't think we'll need psi resistance anymore. Maybe in Pripyat um, while we're gathering uh, all our friends. There will be uh, a couple of moments. Okay. Jupiter Underground. And we have zombies. Of course they didn't die. I hate these things. Okay, what else is gonna be here? I think we're good. Gonna do a quick check on these zombies. And let's not spend more time than we need to here. Okay, Bureau and Controller. That's fun. Would have been less fun if it happened when I was coming from the other side and I would have been blocked in the middle of all these anomalies. Right, as you know, the way I do it, I need the flashlight to get through here. And I hear cats. Holy crap, that's that's more than creepy hearing it with an echo. Poor things. Ну как там тебе? Ты чё? 
Oh Oh, you know what? That was pretty efficient, I'd say. I don't even know why I'm looting these, but... Huh. Reflex, maybe? We still have pretty... We're, we're still doing pretty well on ammo. Pretty full here of mutants, though. Don't really like it. Uh, what is that? Oh, it's one of the funky annoying zombies. Okay, let's go left so our vision doesn't go crazy. Cat, maybe? Probably a cat. Yep, it was a cat. Except the first time coming here with Monolith, this was probably, up until now, the most eventful visit I've had to, to Jupiter Underground. North there? Uh, I couldn't see him. Um, I couldn't see him against the wall. He was standing so still. Okay. Anything behind here? No. Holy crap, the, the underground's populated today. Other times you come by and there's there's nothing. Okay, on the bright side, we are out. Okay, so let's make a quick rush straight to the laundromat. I don't even remember who, who does what around here. But uh, we can just tell our guys to wait right there. And there we go. We got our mission from... Uh, uh, basically our Strelok mission. I'll just um, tell everything here. Everything I don't really need. Turn that in as well. All of these. Yeah, since the, the mission here started, um, 
will probably not be heading back anytime soon. So we might as well stock up with what we can from here. And uh, which one's the AP one? There we go. Perfect. Wasn't there a mechanic here as well? Okay, that's not going to get fixed anymore. So I will do a little save here. And, um... Let me think. We have to get the free... Oh, that also sounded like a chimera. Let's go, let's go rescue Strelok, first of all. Damn it, there's something there as well. Uh, honestly, outskirts is probably one of the most dangerous places. Okay, Strelok is up there. He's fighting Monolith, right? And the Chimera, black one. Let the Chimera. Actually, you know what? Come on. Okay, let's loot first. Talk to Strelok after. There's a Snort there as well. Let's hope he doesn't aggro. And the controller. Ooh. Okay. Ah. I one hundred percent thought he was dead. <laughs> okay, what are you fighting? It's a snort. The funny thing is, if I didn't intervene, he would have probably been killed by a snork. Okay, let's escort him back home. Uh, come on. So I'm gonna tell you from this moment that uh, I'm gonna save every time I get back to the base. It's mostly because I have had issues in the past where... Um, the, the game just doesn't want to wanna work with me and it does crash especially when rescuing um, I think Rogue is the one that's in the um, uh, school is it the school? like right here to the west like uh, this building um, so I, I would rather just have a save spot before going after each and every one of, one of them. Also, um, yeah, I'll, I'll just uh, try and do all the, all, the, all the rescue missions in this episode and let's see where we get. Because, uh, okay, so he is asking us to get... Um, That guy over there, I think that's Stitch. Also, Rogue is right here. Let's go after Rogue first. So, once again, I will do a little save. <coughs> Sorry about that. 
Okay. Uh, oh boy. This passage right here is usually full of uh, weird, angry things. Angry, angry things. Um... Okay, let's take a little look-see in the distance, what we have. That's a dead flesh, not a problem. Okay, there might be some enemies that way. That's just the wind, I hope. Yeah, I wasn't really expecting a squad of monolith. I've seen your monolith. It's a lie. <laughs> oh, that, that was a funny sound bug. Because I passed him, uh, he actually reloaded the weapon after he died. It sounded like I had another one behind me. That's, that's why I... I Look, I, I was so scared for a second there. Why did I still take the stupid hammer? Okay, two more monolith here and here. And of course, I'll take one of these. <clears throat> and we can have a good meal. Okay, my guys are not following. Let's fix that. Okay. That's a flesh. Dead flesh. What I am most scared of right now is a uh, roaming pack of controllers or pseudo giants. I'm going to tell my guys to wait right here. And we can go after Rogue on our own. Uh, the entrance was uh, somewhere down here. Uh, other side. Other side. There we are. It's annoying because it's hidden under these other stairs. You never know. I mean, you, you can't see it at first glance. Right. Gotta go down here. And... All the way up here at the end. And here is Rogue. We're gonna talk to him. He walked into a Psy Anomaly and he does need some meds and we do have some meds so there we go. Fixed it. Now let's just be quick and get back. Uh, we don't need to stick with him. He will just go on his own but um, yeah let's let's just wait for him outside. Uh, 
Okay. And now we can tell our guys to follow us. Yeah, yeah, keep going, keep going. I'm with you. Just keep running. Um. Yeah, he, he does have the bad habit of uh, aggroing stuff across the map. And you, you end up running along with him all the way to the port. Before he gets home. So I am gonna keep an eye on him, especially since if he dies, the mission, the uh, the game's over, and that's another reason I'm gonna save between every little escort part. Okay, another one done. Here we are. You're welcome, Rogue. Okay, and just like last time, gonna do a little quick save. Okay, and uh, I think the last one is up there at the port. Now, if you have a PDA 3.0 or 2.0 but you're a loner, you can actually uh, see them on the map. So he's not really at the port, he's at the cinema, I think, or theater, whatever that is, but we will need to clear the port beforehand because uh, it does get crazy if you get uh, flanked by monolith from behind. Okay, let's see. How do we go about this? You know what, I'll just take my usual route, which is uh, down the road and then to the right. Oh, this is the first time I'm seeing this transmission. There is no wish granter. Ooh, they said the quiet part out, out loud. There was another one, wasn't there? Yep, there is. happened here these are two legendary stalkers that's that's scary and there's another ID RD <laughs> I'll take it just because maybe I'll give it to one of the one of the other stalkers, um, or whatever for novelty's sake. Or maybe that wasn't the right word to you. I'm not sure. Okay, you guys wait here. Actually, you know what? Just just do your thing. There's no one that doesn't need to die here now. We are on AP and uh let's see who's in here. No monolith? Really? That ain't right. There's always monolith here. Oh, 
Oh yeah, that's a lot of monolith. Okay, I think that's done it. Nikki monolith guys, they they thought they could hide from us. Almost a good ambush. I'm still curious what happened to those uh, three monolith guys in the in the road. I just that's just a scary sight to see. Like two exosuited monolith guys, legendary, and another one with an RD, just dead in a line. Wrong button. Okay, let's help this guy with some... Uh... Not dead yet. Did I switch from AP? No, I didn't. Oh! I have no idea how that didn't kill me. <coughs> I mean, I, I... What the hell? Any other? monolith guys that are just pretending to be dead around here oh there he is that didn't look like a monolith huh zombie looked like a bandit That's a friendly. Hey, 
Ну как там тебе? Ты чё? Окей, это сделано. Окей. I'm gonna just follow him all the way back. But I heard whispers for a second there. Controller in the area. Yeah, that that would explain the whispers. Oh, there he is. Okay, where exactly? Okay, it's a lot of controllers. And the pseudo giant. Problem is, I have no idea where they are. Oh, I definitely got something. Is that hip? Well, that was hip. Well, sorry, hip. We were one second too late, but uh, you did head in there like an idiot. Like honestly, just running into a pseudo giant. And that's why I keep them on passive. Because if I don't, they go and get themselves killed. On the bright side, you, my dude, you get an upgrade. Okay, the guy uh, reached um, Strelok. It's a good thing he didn't do that in the middle of a combat. Okay, I'm gonna throw a quick save here just in case. Stitch. Okay. Was there anyone else? No, I think that was it. So, Relock? Um. Yeah, he asks us to join him, and I'll just say, uh, I'll consider it. Опять сапожищи хреновые подсунули. 
Right, so now we're gonna have to wait for um, a communication again from uh, the... There he is. Right. So, let's um, have a talk with him. I think we'll actually end this episode. <laughs> Unless Unisic kills us right now. Yeah. So, all we have to do is uh, talk to the dude right here. And uh, we'll try and... Uh, no? Uh, he, he wants to bring Strelok in just to uh, interrogate him and from what I remember hide all the, um, all the secrets from the UNISG. So uh, we're gonna uh, play um, we're gonna play the, the messenger here and uh, try to mediate the situation. Okay. And we'll tell Strelok that um, the the Doug Tirev or whatever his name is um, might give him leeway if he goes into hiding. Oh, he agrees to follow us. Right. And we also have to gather the whole team. Alright. Uh, now that Hip's dead, does anyone else want to join? Although, again, Hip was uh, kind of a different deal. I don't think she counts as a follower. Again, I'm not sure. Right, so we'll talk to the general. I'll get my grenades ready. And uh, we're gonna have a lot of... There we go. There we're gonna have a lot of Unisig to deal with. There they are. Oh! I don't give a fuck, I'll use as many of these as I need to. Including on myself. <laughs> um, oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, crap. Getting stuck, not good. Oh god, I hate this thing. I, I can't tell who's who. That's Strelok, definitely. Right, uh... Oh, that's a friendly. I don't know who's in there. Um, or we can save this guy. Who's this? See you, Colonel. <laughs> just, just roll over until you get out. <laughs> Okay, so, um, unfortunately, there is a tiny little problem. Um, as in, I will have to stop the game and restart it in uh, DirectX 9. 
in order to actually finish the game because otherwise it will crash for me. No, привет. And also our guys are, are still fighting. Uh, not sure what, but guys. Oh, okay. The hell are you shooting? Ah. You're ruining my moment, Snork. Hey, they're still fighting something. Okay, so, um, we're gonna do a little save here. No, uh, another snow. We're gonna do a little save here, and then we'll uh, talk to Strelok afterwards. With uh, very, very low graphics. Welcome to 2007. <laughs> oh boy. Actually, I... I think uh, the original game uh i think the skybox was different <laughs> but yeah so this is what i have to go through to be able to finish the game <laughs> otherwise it's gonna crash if i leave it on directx 11 but we can talk to strelok now and roll credits Holy crap, we did it. <laughs> right, I'll, I'll skip this. And uh, there we go. There's the achievement. Wow. So, we got the Invictus, along with Murky Spirit and Collaborator. But... Yeah, we managed to get Invictus, and uh, what's even more amazing is uh, we still have two remaining lives. We haven't died once in this Invictus run. This is crazy. But we are finally finished. Um, yeah, I mean, by the time we got our late game gear, we were pretty much done with it. And, uh, yeah, we still have some ammo left over. <laughs> but it's finally completed. This was Invictus as a duty. And, yeah, this will be the end of the series. And what better way to end it than with a perfect sunset. The sunset which, which we were amazed by each and every single time in this game. I know the shadows aren't perfect, but the skybox is beautiful, and the sunset is amazing. And uh, just like the heroes in old westerns, we're gonna walk into the sunset as this final video on our Invictus run ends. Have a great day everyone, and I hope you enjoyed our series. And uh, I will be back with uh, something new. I'm not sure yet what, I wasn't expecting to finish this fast. I will see you next time.